Well, hello, Clatford School. It's lovely to be able to talk to you all again. Do you know, I was thinking that when we all work together, we can really achieve great things if we all play our small part. And it reminded me, actually, of something that happened to a very famous man called Sir Christopher Wren. Now, Sir Christopher Wren was alive over 300 years ago, and he was a great architect who designed St Paul's Cathedral in London. Well, one day when he was at work, he went to visit everybody on site to see how things were going. There was a lot of work that still had to be done. It was such a big building. But things were starting to take shape just nicely. So he went and spoke to some of the workers as he walked through the building. What are you doing? He said to one man. Well, oh, well, I'm just carving a leaf on the base of this pillar, replied the man. Wren walked a little further. What are you doing? He said. Well, this man was busy spreading mortar over part of the floor. Well, I'm laying tiles on this floor, said the man. Well, what about you over there? Wren inquired of a man who seemed very busy mixing something. Well, said the man, you see all those stonemasons over there? Well, I'm mixing the mortar so that they can fix the last keystone into that arch. Well, Wren went on. He approached a man who was very hot and bothered. He was sweating a lot over a huge lump of stone. He was hammering it into a rectangular shape. When Wren asked the man what he was doing, the man stood up and stretched his aching back. Why, he replied, I'm building a cathedral. Now, Although this man was just shaping the stones ready for the skilled stonemasons to work with, he understood that the little part that he had to play was really, really important in making this fantastic cathedral. You see, he saw the bigger picture. His job may not have been the skilledest one there, but he knew that without him, the rest couldn't happen. And without him, the cathedral would not have been built. Do you know, in our local community and our school, some people have lots and lots of responsibilities and other people haven't got quite so many. But do you know, every single person is equally important. Without our caretaker, well, we wouldn't have our heating in the winter. Without the cleaners, our school wouldn't be clean. And if you think about Mrs. Walkham and Mrs. F in the office, well, without them answering the phones and organising things, we wouldn't be able to help everybody. Then you've got all the teachers and people in the building who help. But, you know, the other people who really help at the moment are your mums and dads. They all have a really important role to play. You see, they look after you. They keep you safe every day. And at this moment, in these bit of a tricky times, do you know, they're working harder than ever for you, trying to do their very best. They're trying to be your teacher. They're trying to spend time with you. They love having fun with you. They're trying to find out new things with you and creating happy memories with you, wherever you may be. You see, we all have a really important role to play. We're all contributing to that bigger picture to help you get ready for when we are all back together again. And you know, it's a support and work of so many others that keeps our scattered wide community together in our school. So what I was thinking is that I would like all of you to say a big thank you to someone who has helped you during this time. You might make them a card. You might write them a special message. You might draw them a picture. 
or you might show them a real act of kindness. We'd love to hear what you've done. So if you do something, you send it into school so we can see how you thanked a special person who has helped you join this time. And you know, there's been a lot going on in the news lately, but there was a very special man who lived in America, oh, about seven years ago now, called Martin Luther King. You may have heard his name on the telly just recently. And he said something about people working together. He said, if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep the streets even as Michelangelo painted or Beethoven composed music or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all of the hosts of heaven and earth will pause to say, here lived a great street sweeper who did his job well. And that's just like us, isn't it? Every single one of us are going to try to do our job well, whether it's learning, whether it's helping, or whether it's doing something special for people at home. Let's just have a quiet moment and a short prayer together. Dear God, help us to understand that we are all part of a bigger picture. May we try to do our best in everything, regardless of whether it appears to be important or not. We thank you for all those people who play a part in our lives, and we ask that we may appreciate everything that they do. Amen. Now, it's been lovely speaking to you today. You all continue to keep safe and remember Think about how you're going to say a big thank you to someone who has really, really helped you at this special time. We'll see you again soon, everyone. Bye.